daddy boombox and a mommy boombox fall in love and like each other a lot. After 25 minutes, the stork delivers the baby boombox. Ah, yes, what a blessed event it is indeed. How you doing? Welcome to another uh, video of vintage TV and radio stuff. This isn't necessarily vintage. I'm not sure how old this actually is, uh, but it is indeed a baby boombox from Lifelong Company, a company I, I looked up online and couldn't, couldn't find anything about. The only thing I could find was a uh, PDF file from a, a website that basically sells electronic parts that you would use to make something like this. And it just had kind of a, a diagram of what the features were of uh, this baby boombox. Uh, it does look like a boombox, obviously. I guess there's another uh, version of this that's a little more uh, 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 feature-packed. It has a, a micro cassette player in it where the baby boombox logo is right here. Couldn't find that anywhere, but uh, I guess one exists. But anyway, it looks like a boombox. This is the yellow one. There is also a black baby boombox. They had twins, yes. <laughs> and here is the black one. Found these both at a goodwill here in town, but this uh, yellow one uh, shows the uh, the features a little little more strikingly with the uh, nice yellow and blue uh, outline here. So uh, we'll look at this one instead. Uh, you have the two little speakers, one on each side, and on the top you got the MFM tuning section. Here you've got your volume and your tuning knobs and a uh, well, I think it's about a maybe eight inch telescoping antenna on the back a very brief description of the item and a switch for AM or FM and on the bottom here is the battery compartment where you can put your four AA batteries in on the bottom there's some kind of FCC sticker they had to put on there for legal purposes I'm assuming and one more little observation here if you look really closely printed in the plastic itself is something called UK registration number two zero three six six nine three and uh, all I can imagine that is is something that you have to have if you want to sell this product in the United Kingdom so there you go let's uh, flip it around and uh, all right let's turn around and see what it sounds like we'll start things off on the far end of the FM band here we'll flip our way across flames a little Scratchy there. Sir, man, I'll call you back. Don't get stuck at home with the flu. Same time as your COVID-19 vaccine. Okay. Yeah. Kind of a tinny sound, but that's what you kind of kind of expect from this, I guess. The antenna only goes up and down, doesn't swing back and forth or in a circular fashion. <laughs> So let's flip it to AM here. A lot of interference, of course. And that's really all about it. <laughs> that's all there is here. This, uh, this tuning control gets a little stuck here. It feels like it's getting stuck. But, you know, it is what it is. So, kind of what you would expect from a product like this. Not, not a lot of high fidelity. And local stations come in pretty good. Yeah, so there you go. It's the <laughs> lifelong baby boombox. Uh, comes in yellow and... Uh, black, which I found an awful lot of on eBay and other places where you can buy stuff online. 
uh, probably like you know 10 15 bucks for these for these little little babies here so that's our uh, video for today and uh, of course if you have a comment go ahead and leave comments like the video subscribe to the channel and we'll have more vintage TV and radio stuff down the road thanks for watching